So tonight we're installing that solenoid body in this 545 RFE transmission. Got the pan off, filter off, secondary oil filter off, spin on one that goes right in the corner here. There is one little T20 bolt to hold the filter on. Now I gotta double check which one of these valve body bolts I have to remove. I'm pretty sure it's all the ones with the hex heads and the rest of them can stay there, but I'm gonna double check that. Here is the new part. I decided to buy it from the dealer. That's the part number if you're interested. And even when you call the dealer, they ask you whether it has the gray connector or the white connector. This one has the gray connector. So we'll have a look at this. So there's the new part. And there's the valve body assembly off the truck. There are six of these little uh, eight millimeter headed six mil bolts around the outside perimeter of the valve body. Make sure you undo the connector on the top and blow the sand around the top so that nothing falls in there. And uh, once you take those six external bolts around the outside perimeter of the valve body, it just pull, pulls straight down. Now you gotta make sure when you're putting it back in that this parking pole indexes with the shift fork. Now I gotta figure out which ones of these bolts and they're going from the bottom that I have to undo for the actual solenoid body. So there are 15 bolts that hold it in. So starting from the outside, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I'm pretty sure they're all the same length, but you should always compare the length as you're taking them out and make sure there's nothing different about the length of the bolts. So far they appear to be the same. Okay, put those off to the side. Now that valve body should come off. Solenoid pack should come off. There it is there. Set that off to the side. Turn this upside down here. Make sure there's no debris in here. Got a clean rag here to wipe this surface off. We have to look up the torque spec for these. And that is just going to sit right on top. There's dowel pins to hold it in place. There, like so. Flip it back over again. I see that didn't go in, didn't line up. There we go. Make sure the doll pins. So according to the specifications, the torque is 60 inch-pounds and it specifies to start with these two bolts with the arrows, start with those first. So I've snugged them up and 60 inch-pounds with this little beam style torque wrench. There's one. Oh, I missed that one snugging it up. In this from the center out.
Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put some dielectric grease around this seal and we're going to clean the transmission lower section off and the gasket sealing surface off and get ready to put it back together again. So there's a new, or the pan reinstalled. The bolts around the outside of the valve body were 106 inch pounds and the filter is installed and the Spin-on filters installed, a new pan gasket, we're ready to fill it up with fluid and uh, take it for a road test.